So today we're checking the clearances on this crank. We've already been checked by the machine shop while trying to double checking the plastic gauge before we put it all back together. Uh, we've re hand cylinders, just going to clean up all the rest of the parts in a bit and then get this bottom end assembled. So with this plastic gauge what you've got to do is just talk it up to spec, loosen it off and it'll sp spread along and you have a spread sheet to see what the clearance is. So I'm just talking the main caps up now, um, you have to do these in two stages. So we do it for um, 20 foot pound and then the next one goes to 40, that's 42 foot pound. Just spreads the load evenly. So okay, we're looking for around between one and a half and two fair clearance, so they're all absolutely bang on. I'm happy with that. It's just a clearance sheet. If it wants to focus. So you wanna make sure you get all this off now. Make sure it's all clean, crank clean, nothing on the bearings, and then get your assembly lube. We'll show you to that in a second. Assembly. Make sure you get a good amount on. Always use assembly lube, don't use engine oil, because the oil doesn't stick like this stuff. So you tend to find on when you use engine oil, it runs away and it, it'll start running dry for a few seconds before it actually builds up all pressure, so always use this stuff. We tried, we tried, all oh, there is to try, I'm not, I'm not gonna let you fall aside. So on these bolts we've put some ALP assembly lube on just so take dry and the torque properly. Because again, you have to do this in stages. How we did it the first time. Okay, that's all that's all torqued up. You should make sure it spins nice and free, lays now binding. Plus if you check the clearances and everything. Should be all good to go. So we've already got the rings. Um, clean the pistons up the best as we can. Normally I do soda blast them, but these have a coating on the side, so I don't really want to blast them. So we just soak them in petrol. Clean them up the best we can anyway. So yeah, let's carry on. So, okay, we're fitting an oil pump. It's a genuine oil pump. We've got a genuine gasket kit as well. So, I'll we'll show you how to put the sealer on these oil pumps. So, you follow the lines, basically, and then we we'll just use engine sealer.
So put the new eye ring on the block. I've um, put some assembly lube on the seal. So it should catch. So there is two longer bolts on these, so they go here and here on the deep part of the oil pump and the rest of them all the same size. Here and So it's day two of the engine build. So my brother's stripped the head. As you can see, all valves bring in snow think. And here's the valves. It's gotta be clean them up. I wanna get a time graphic for me clean these up. Get all the build off it. And then put it back in the head and rebuild it. So let's get some time lapse. So I've cleaned up all the valves as you can see by the video on the time lapse. So now I'm going to seat the valves. So get a nice clean seat. And so it seals properly into the head. So now I've done all the exhaust sides. As you can see, all nice. Every single one. All done. Now we're going to do all the inlet side. As you can see, the needle cleaning up. This one won't take that long. So all the valves are being reseated. And all done. And the, the sump's been painted as well. So now we're going to clean some parts up and paint them to make it look nice in the engine. While I was doing the head, my brother's put the oil relief valve on and the oil pick up. So nice and clean. So let's put all the valves back in, as you can see. And uh, underneath he's put the springs back in. And now we're gonna place it on top of the, the block. The gasket's already on. And uh, we're gonna get this tightened down. So you see a gasket. This one's what we always use for our builds. Here's the head going on. Nice and placed on. So we're going to get the ARP and put the washers in first and then put the ARP bolts and then torque them down to spec. And I'll time lapse that, so let's get into it. All the ARP bolts are in there. I'm going to time lap them, getting all taut up to spec. I would recommend having ARP bolts on a forged engine when you're chasing power because the head will lift. So make sure you do get some, but they're really hard to get at the moment. So. So the head's been torqued down to spec. There's three stages involved in this when we torqued it down. Stage one, you've got 20 foot pounds. You've got stage two, which is 40 foot pounds. And then stage three, which is 60 foot pounds. 
make sure you go on a pattern. Uh, there will be one online you can find, I'm sure. But as it was time lapse, we couldn't show you it. So now we're going to get everything else assembled on the engine. And let's get straight into it. So my brother's put the sump on, he's just painting the engine block at the moment, he's already done this side. So next we've got to put the cams in and put the shims in, and make sure it's all correct, all the clearances, and it should be all fine then. We've just got to put the rocker cover on and all the bits, that, what's left to put on, and then the guy can pick up his engine. Day 3 of the engine build, uh, we've got some lot of cleaning to do with parts, we've got the cams, um, the caps for the cams, we've got the rocker cover, alternator, um, the covers, everything needs painting. So now we're putting the shims into the head, which put in the same order how it came out of. We're putting it as a scrap head, so they're more in the same order. Um, we're going to check them after, because you have to, to check the clearances and to be safe, because you don't want your engine to rattle the top end. So let's get putting all these shims in and uh, check the clearances. So everything's completed on the engine. Everything's on, all the belts. We've got everything on. See, painted all the bits up and the rocker cover. So, if you guys have enjoyed this build of us, it will be coming back for some tuning. But I think the guys are just going to run the engine in, put it back in this car, and it's going to get some tuning on this. I think it's got a TDO4, it should be around about 300 brake. It's a forged engine. Um, hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys are new round here, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys again on another video. Bye.